Do you know it's not a crime to be successful in life? Sometimes we need to get out of our comfort zone to become who we really want to become. And sometimes it requires some effort to get up there. Welcome to our YouTube channel with Buzo and Sami. In this video, we'll be talking more about steps to become a registered nurse in the United States of America as highlighted in our last video. Before we go into the video proper, if you are seeing us for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share our videos, and press the notification bell so that you'll be updated when we post other videos. And if you are a returning subscriber, The first step we'll be talking about is about readiness and decision making. Of course, we know there are options for you to work as a registered nurse outside your country. You can work in Australia, you may decide to work in Egypt, you may decide to work in the UK or you want to go to Saudi Arabia. But I can tell you if you need to work in the United States of America as a nurse, then this video is for you. Here, we will be giving you those steps in details. And that was the first step you need to do, readiness and decision making. You know where you want to go. If you are coming to the US, we say welcome. The next step will be evaluation. Evaluation of credentials. In this step, you're going to evaluate your credentials. And we have several bodies in the US that does this. Examples of them are CGFNS, Joseph Sendi, Eris, and others. You can decide to use any of them. Your school will send your transcripts and clinical hours that you did, you've done in school. The nursing council in your country will send a verification and good standing depending on the evaluation body you choose to use. After evaluation, the next step is Registration with the Board of Nursing of your choice. When we're talking about registration with Board of Nursing, we're talking about those Board of Nursing in the United States of America. You can choose any Board of Nursing to register with. This doesn't mean that you're going to work or live in that state. You are just using that nursing board for registration you can register in south carolina and work in texas the only thing you need to do if these states are not compact states then you need an endorsement the board of nursing is the one to present to you or to, uh, they are the one to give you the authority to write NCLEX examination there are some board of nursing that are easy for them to process your request some may require you to have IETS before you register with them why some they don't require that example of those that do not require IETS before registration is New Mexico Board of Nursing they don't require you to have IETS so you write your exam to you get your license this is not a requirement for them after you finish your examination if the state you wish to go and practice required to have IETS or you need IETS for immigration, then you can write your IETS. The next step will be fingerprinting. After registration with Board of Nursing, the Board of Nursing will send you a fingerprinting or background check card. The background check card will be taken to the police headquarters in your country where your fingerprints will be placed on the card and sent to the body that will run the background, run check, the for background you. check for you. Examples are Gemalto or Identigo, depending on the board of nursing you use. And the next step is registration with person view and payment for your NCLEX examination. Person view is a 
uh, agency that organizes NCLEX exam and they also do some other examinations but for the purpose of this video we just focus on the NCLEX examination you register with Personville and you pay 200 US dollar this time for the NCLEX examination following the registration with Personville and payment of your uh, NCLEX examination the next thing is to get notified from the board. You will get what we call an ATT, which is the authorization to test. This simply means the board is presenting you. You now have the authority to go and write NCLEX examination. After you've gotten this notification, this will lead us to the next step, which is scheduling for your exam. You go to the person view portal schedule your exam based on your plan you would have had a plan that i want to write my exam around this time and you have to schedule your exam when you are prepared to write the exam so you go to the portal of the person view choose the date you wish to write your exam and then you have scheduled your exam but make sure that your date is within the time of att because att expires in six months after scheduling your exam then you go to the next step which is visa processing at this level you want to apply for visa to travel and write your NCLEX examination if there is no person view center in your country the visa you are applying for is not an immigrant visa is a tourist or a visiting visa that you need to apply for and there are countries that you can go to take your examinations you can go to australia you can go to uk you can travel to um uh, united states you can travel to india or you go to philippines and some other places brazil also is one of them so you want to go to uh the consular or you want to go to the embassy of a country where you know or you're sure that they're going to give you visa without wasting your time you can talk to us we're going to guide you on those places you need to go where you get your visa approved and the next step will be right pass your NCLEX exam <laughs> You will get notified by the nursing board. They will congratulate you. Then you the <laughs> for eight hours in some states, and it could take up to seventy-two hours in some other states. But we'll be happy to see that. Then you move to the next stage, which is processing your immigration visa. At this stage, you will be looking for the agency that will sponsor your immigration process and we also get you employment of your choice we will discuss about this in our next video do not forget to subscribe to this channel we love to see you we love to speak to you more and more thank you and we love you if you have any questions please put them in the comment section we'll be happy to respond to your questions thank you bye, bye. bye.